This is part two of our Work Planner Walkthrough, covering how to edit your work plans. Part one, covering creating work plans, can be found in the description or above this video in the playlist. Since plans change, you can edit work plans at any time. To edit planned work, select the plan, then click the pencil button. In the drop-down menu, select the detail that you would like to edit. For this plan, we will change the assigned rate. When you are ready to send the work plan to your equipment, simply select the checkbox at the left of the work plan and then select Send to Equipment. Here, you can see the default name for the file, which you may edit. The sent status of the plan will change from Not Sent to Processing. The status will change to Imported once the work plan is received by the display. Now the work plan is available and ready to go. For equipment without a JD-Link connection, follow the same process. The work plan will go to the Files page where it can be downloaded to a USB or transfer them to the machine using the My Transfer app. Now that the work plan is created and sent to your equipment, let's review how Work Planner simplifies the operator experience. Work plans are automatically imported once they are sent to your John Deere Gen 4 or G5 display with the latest software on equipment with active JD-Link. To help ensure work is documented and done your way, you can choose to automatically start work plans once the equipment enters the field boundary. Work setup details will automatically be loaded on the display. To enable this feature, select the Advanced Settings on the Work Setup page and check the box for Automatic Work Plan Activation. This helps ensure work is done correctly and you will get accurate documentation for your records and analysis. Without this selection, the operator will receive a prompt on the display they will need to approve. You can also enable field conditions to view your work plan instructions as work notes in the field. These instructions will then be accessible in Field Analyzer for post-analysis. Work Planner also allows you to monitor work closely within the Operation Center web and mobile. The Work Progress column shows you if a plan has been started and what percent of the field has work been completed. You can also use the Time to Completion column, which uses historical work data to estimate the time to finish the work plan. These tools help you coordinate equipment logistics, tendering, maintenance, or maybe your lunch break, if you have those. Once a work plan is 98% complete or has been inactive for 14 days after starting work, the work plan will be removed from the display and can be reviewed in the Completed Work Filter tab in Work Planner. This part of the video will summarize some work planner features in the Operations Center mobile application. Operation Center Mobile syncs with your Operation Center web account, so you can create and edit work plans on your mobile device anywhere and anytime. After you sign in, select the Plan button. Much like Work Planner and Operation Center Web, Work Planner in Mobile is organized by the year and operation type. Notice the drop down menu where you can select the correct year and operation type. Create a new work by selecting the Add button. Here's where you enter the work details, such as crop variety, rate, guidance tracks, and equipment, just like you did in the web version. Select the down arrow to review the plan's details, make edits, or get driving directions to the field location. To send work plans to equipment wirelessly, check the box next to the work plan and select Send. Here you can check the box next to the equipment that you want to send the work plans to. We hope you find this video helpful for getting started with Work Planner. There are many informational articles that can help you use Work Planner. These can be found under the Assistance menu in Operations Center and select Help Documentation. If you need further assistance or have questions, be sure to reach out to your local John Deere dealer or contact John Deere customer support via the Connect Support button.